this is going to be a little lesson in um, composition. So what we're looking for in composition is two-dimensionally the way that something is divided up, uh, changed, and the way that an artist builds interest by simply putting one thing on the page rather than another. So let's start with this uh, Ansel Adams piece. So one of the simplest ways to learn how to do this is to trace out the composition. Um, and so what you do is you just kind of go along the general outlines of things and trace out any major areas or anything that you find that's a kind of a big deal in the composition. So here, tracing out the river, no big deal. You can trace out a couple of divisions in the horizon line, trace out some diagonals. So when we turn that layer off, it's a fairly simple piece, and you can recreate that the strength of that composition pretty readily. Let's go over to this piece by uh, Caravaggio. Caravaggio is known for chiaroscuro, which is the emphasis on the high and low end of the value range. It literally means light dark. So if we go around and trace out the figures, can find an interesting composition here. We know that, that this is the focal point of the composition. And you can do things too, like you can trace the eye lines of everybody. And in this figure in this sort of thing, Jesus seems to be looking down, but I think he's looking more internally than externally. Um, you can highlight some areas of major light and the trick to this is not getting too detailed um, because if you get too detailed you're pretty much copying the piece itself and you don't want to do that so that's a simple compositional trace let's go down to Monet's haystack here this one's a pretty minimal composition but you'll notice some similarities between this and the Ansel Adams piece So when we turn that off, you get a very simple composition. You'll notice that this is kind of obeying the rule of thirds, where you see that there's a major division here and here and here and here, and that the composition is kind of balanced by that. So if we go over to uh, the School of Athens by Raphael, we'll see a very centralized composition. The major thing is this archway in front, and the progression of archway is going back. You'll also notice some linear perspective stuff going back to this main point. We can trace out groupings of figures in the foreground and middle ground as distinct from the background. There we go. School of Athens traced out. So one of the simplest ways you can do this is to uh, put your phone down, get the image that you want to trace, and uh, and trace it through a piece of paper. Um, that would be about the right size to do it. So I would recommend doing a bunch of these. Um, five is a good minimum, but uh, do a lot more if this if this kind of interests you. So what you're doing is you're kind of programming some compositional styles into your own brain. Uh, and they'll come out when you kind of need them. So have fun with that. Um, and 
we'll move on to the next thing.